Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we'll be discussing a crucial topic in family law, supervised visitation. Whether you're a parent going through a divorce or someone interested in family law, understanding supervised visitation is essential. So let's dive in. In most cases these days, family courts grant parenting time to each divorcing or separating spouse so they can bond with their kids and maintain a strong relationship. These child custody arrangements vary widely, with some parents splitting time equally and others getting more or less time with their children than their co-parent does. Additionally, if a judge has safety concerns, they might order supervised visitation for a parent. Just like almost any other family law matter, supervised visitation is not one size fits all. Restricted visitation available in your jurisdiction might include shortened visitation time, monitored visitation time, supervised visitation that requires a trusted third party to observe visitation at all times, supervised visitation that requires a third party professional to observe visitation at all times. Supervised visitation rules are often tailored to the unique circumstances of the family involved. This is why both parents and the supervisor need to read the judge's orders. The supervised parent and child may be encouraged to play and talk during parenting time, but certain parameters might apply to their time together. The grounds for supervised visitation differ from state to state. A court might grant supervised parenting time in a family law decree for one or more of the following reasons. A parent has been accused of domestic violence. There are concerns the parent may abduct the child. A parent has a mental health challenge that could jeopardize the child's safety. A parent has a substance abuse problem. There have been allegations of child abuse. A parent seeking visitation has had no previous relationship with the child. A parent's visitation presents other safety concerns for the child or parties to the case. If you're concerned about your child's safety during parenting time, most often, you may file a motion asking the court to order supervised visitation at the beginning of your custody case. Additionally, if a judge has safety concerns, they may order supervised parenting time without your request. Understanding supervised visitation is crucial for anyone involved in family law matters. If you find yourself in a situation where supervised visitation is necessary, seeking legal advice and understanding the process is essential.